Kia ora everybody, welcome to your reading lesson for Thursday. We're going to start off with a game and it's going to be Guess the Mystery Sound. So you'll hear the sound twice. I'm going to play five sounds and I'm going to put the answers up on our website later. So listen carefully, here's the first sound. That's just a bit of music first. So wait for the first sound. Here it is. One more time. What could that be? Right, that was sound number one. That's sound number two, another time. Okay. Sound number three coming up. Hmm. What could that be? Hmm. Fourth. What could that sound be? One more time. Okay, lucky last sound coming up soon. What was that? <gasps> all right, so that was all five sounds and the answers will be up on our website. So today we are going to cover off some reading um, ideas for while you're learning at home. So I'm going to get up a um, screen for you of some different books that you can um, find on your computer to read at home. So just sharing my screen now. <clears throat> now this website is called betterstartapproach.com and it's the children readers um, for school um, section there for you. And you can also go to a for family section as well. Okay, under resources. So just here, there are a whole bunch of different books that you can choose from. You could choose either from the early childhood books or the early readers, which is what I'll select today. Excuse me. And then you'll see some of the books that you've read at school and then some that you um, wouldn't have read yet that are brand new. So if you're just learning to read, you would go to the week one texts. And if you're feeling a bit more confident, you'd go towards more of the week seven or week, week eight texts on this page. So if we chose, for example, um, week four, if you're feeling a little bit confident, um, then we could go to Bat Needs a Nap and you can either Go to the book on Nearpod, or you can find the PDF. And if you've got a printer at home, you can print it out. So if we go to the book on Nearpod, that means you can turn the pages on the screen like you would in real life. Okay, so we'll just wait for that to load. Let's give it another try to load. No, okay. It's not working very well. Oh, here we go. Okay. Bat needs a nap. So here you can sound out the words um, knowing the letter sounds that you've learned at school and at a few at home now as well in practice. So b at bat needs needs a nap nap. Okay. Can you click the screen? Um I'll just move my back there. There we go. So we've got an orange, oh, sorry, a blue arrow that you click to turn the page. Okay, and then you can carry on reading right through the book. So that needs a nap. And if it helps you, you can point to the screen and point at each word so that you're using your pointing at each word strategy to help you read. You're sounding out the words and um, the pictures can sometimes help you as well. That needs a nap. But Manu sings. A bug taps a nut. Hmm. Turn the page. Bat needs a nap. But Dad cuts a log. 
Nan hits a mat. Uh oh, what's what's happening here? Bat's needing to sleep, but what's going on? There is so much noise. Bat needs a nap, but D oh, mm, Don, oh, that's that character, Don, the dog that we've met before. Don tips the lid. The lid, lid hits a b -i -n bin. So Bat needs a nap, but Don tips the lid. The lid hits the bin. Oh, it's so noisy for Bat. Shh, says Bat. I need to nap. I cannot nap with this big d -i -n din. Din means loud noise. The end. So now we've got some um, cool tips here at the end of the book for your uh, mum or dad, brother or sister, whoever can help you with your reading on different activities you could do at home and also different strategies or um, ways that you can um, help yourself to read even better. So you've got some spelling activities you could do, retelling the story, talking about what happened in the story, explain what some of the words mean, and um, that's it. So I'll just stop sharing. The, oh, actually, no, I'll close that off because I would like to show you a few other things on this page because some of the books can be read to you, which is pretty cool. So let's go to week two and the sounds for that week are P and T. And you can choose which books you like, depending on what sounds you think you need to work on. Okay, so... Pam's top has actually got the story read out loud to you on the computer. So let's watch that and see how that looks as an option for you for your home reading. You wanting to try and read maybe one book a day, or if it's too tricky, you could just read one page of it and sound out those words or try some of the earlier uh, texts. Okay, so here we've got a thing we can play at the bottom. Pam's top. And it gets read to us. Pam began to sob. I am mad. I am sad, sobbed Pam. My top has a big red spot. Dad sat down beside Pam. I will dab the spot. Now, I just noticed that that person reading the story added a word. What was that word? Because what I see there is dad sat beside Pam but he said dad sat down beside Pam interesting I will dab and pat the spot clean said dad dab dab pat pat look the big spot is now a little dot the end. Okay. So if we close off that page, if that thing will just go for a minute and I can access it again. No, it's not letting me. Okay, close that off and we're back at the um, books here again. So you'll notice that these books um, go up until the sounds huh. <laughs> And shh, but you might feel like you're um, ready for different books that are, have trickier sounds. So if we go back here, we can go on to a different um, website. So if you just wait for me to find, here we go. So this website here is books, um, that are new to me as well, but I've noticed by looking at them that there's quite a few really good books that um, relate to what we've been learning in class, like these ones here. Let me find them. I'll go back up to the one I saw just now. Hang on. This one, this group of books here is most like the ones that I've just shown you on um, the other website, the Better Start for um, Literacy Approach. And then they get a little bit trickier, a little bit trickier. And there's a few down here that have even trickier sounds um, and they keep extending you if you feel ready. 
So keep going down. We even start to get the ing sound at the end of some words and the k sound. So you see you've got lots and lots of choice. And there's so many books, but remember, even just one book a day or even a page of a book a day can sometimes be all you need to practice what you're learning and, um, you know, stretch yourself so you are moving forward in your reading learning. Okay, so I'll close those books off. Actually, I'll just open one of those books and you'll see how cool they are. And we'll flick through it. Okay, so the map. And the links to these websites I'll give um, out to your parents. So here's the map. I am Sam. I see a map. I can go. I can go see Pat. I can go see Matt. Matt. I can go see Tom. I can go see K -M Cam. I can go see Mac. And then at the end of the book, you can ask some questions to see if you've understood what you've read. So what made Sam decide to visit his friends? Hmm, maybe if you're not sure, you could flick back through and have a look. So he saw a map and he decided, oh, I could go see my friends. And how did Sam plan to travel? Was he going on a boat, a bike, a plane? If you said plane, then well done. Yes, that's right. What other ways could he travel besides flying? So you'd need to imagine that for a minute. How else could he get to those different countries? Could he swim or go uh, walk across? If he thought of maybe boat, that's a good idea because some of those are across the ocean. Who are the friends that Sam will visit? So if you don't remember, you could go back and start to sound out some of the names. So first we had P at Pat, and then we had Matt, Tom and Cam, and Mac. How can you tell that his friends live in different places around the world? Well, I won't give an answer for that. If you'd like to answer that for me, send through an answer, and I'd love to hear from you by email or um, on Seesaw. Okay, so we'll close that page off, and I'll just show you one more option for some online books. <clears throat> so these are um, all the books from um, the Ministry of Education. There are some of our Ready to Read Phonics Plus books in here um, and some information on those and um, the Ready to Read Color Wheel books as well. So I haven't um, personally had a really good look at this page in particular. Um, and I'm not seeing exactly where to find the books. I think some of these might be the trickier books um, further up the school anyway. But for example, we're reading magenta red and yellow books. So I'll pick magenta. Um, no, none available there. Yeah, so this could be good if you are wanting to go for some of the trickier books like the junior journals or school journals. And I'll just leave that up to you guys to browse that. Okay, so I'll just stop sharing there. And um, I think we're pretty much all sorted for today. But I'm just going to check if we've got any games to play before we um, say goodbye. I'll just check my lesson. Okay, I think we should do maybe a little bit of Simon Says. So get two up on your feet. Simon Says, uh, go find a book. Oh, found one. Simon says, put the book on your head. Simon says, put the book in front of you like you're going to read it. Turn the page. Oh, I didn't say Simon says. Simon says, turn the page. Simon says, turn another page. And another page. <gasps> I didn't say Simon says. Oh, okay. Simon says, put the book down. And I'll say now, kakite anō. Um, that's all of our lessons for this week. Um, and then you can, still can join in on the school karakia at 9.30 on Friday morning. And um, I'll do my best to jump online and see you then.
Okay, bye everyone, take care.